Okay, St. Vincent and the Grenadines is looking to, into getting a fast track citizenship by investment program. It has not come out yet. The opposition is promising to actually get this uh, going as part of their uh, their plan if he gets elected. I'll, I'll go through that more in detail on how it works. Now, I did a video just recently that had St. Vincent and the Grenadines in it. Uh, there is one mistake I made in that I want to correct, and that is that uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines, if you live there, uh, typically it's 100, 183 days. If you live there over 183 days a year, they're going to tax you on your worldwide income, and the bracket are as high as 32.5%. Uh, so it does not have a territorial tax system, so you, you need to know that. Uh, and that's pretty high for a, uh, one of those, you know, uh, for a fast-track citizenship by investment island. And uh, if they do come out with this, though, uh, they've, they've matched St. Kitts' visa-free or visa-free arrival countries and territories at 157. They'll actually beat Antigua's uh, visa-free countries that you can go to. But again, you still have that tax law difference. Now, some people might say, well, Tom, I don't plan on moving there. I just plan on getting the passport. So, you know, I've told people before, you need to look at that flag theory on our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. When you look for a second passport, you need to get one that has, especially if you're spending as much money as, as you are on these fast track programs, you need to find one if you ended up having to move to a place that you like their tax laws. And you're certainly not going to like taxes where you're going to be taxed on your worldwide income at, you know, over 32%. Uh, so, uh, you know, you need to uh, be taking that in consideration if they come out with this. Uh, the opposition uh, is election that, uh, with the other parties coming up, but the opposition in, in the uh, uh, in the forecast looks like they're actually trailing, so they might end up losing anyway. If they do win, though, they've promised you know to to put this out, but but that's something that you're going to have to look at because uh, you know most people that look at our videos are more concerned with taxes than just about anything else, that and dual citizenship. Now, they do allow dual citizenship with uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Also, folks, if you can do us a big favor, and that is we don't monetize this channel, so if you can hit the subscribe button and write your screen right here, you'll get new videos automatically as they come out, and it will help us on the algorithm. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, and uh, it will help us get further up on the algorithm and get the videos out to more people. And if you like the videos too, pass them around to some of your friends uh, that have high net networks and uh, we'd be glad to try to help them in any way we can there. Now, St. Vincent's opposition, uh, this came out in IMI. They were talking about uh, uh, that St. Vincent's opposition promises citizenship by investment program again. Remember, they actually had this citizenship uh Originally, like, like I said, over 20 years ago, and then they it was a real short period. I, I don't think it was just a few months, and they just cut it as uh, soon as 9-11 occurred, and they never have come back with it. Uh, but this new Democratic Party called the NDP of St. Vincent and the Grenadines, um, and then you've got uh, uh, and the SV, uh, SVG has promised to introduce a uh, citizenship by investment program uh, if it wins the uh, November 2025 general election. Um, and uh, the NDP leader, Dr. Godwin Friday, he, he unveiled a plan at the uh, party's recent convention uh, in the uh, Petit Bardell, uh, dis dismissing criticisms about selling passports, emphasizing that the program's benefits would go directly to the people and not in his pocket. Now, the NDP Citizenship by Investment Program would allow foreign nationals to acquire citizenship in exchange for contributions to the country's socioeconomic development. Now, Friday uh, assured they uh, would uh, properly uh, monitor the program and that it would uh, meet the highest levels of scrutiny, emphasizing its transparency. Uh, he stressed that the funds would uh, benefit public servants and, that, and those of, uh, on public uh, assistance and not political figures. Now, the NDP, however, has not provided specific details regarding the program structure, pricing, or eligibility criteria. Now, currently, uh, uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines passport, as I mentioned, uh, ranks number 23 globally 
providing visa-free access to 157 destinations worldwide, including the European Union and also the United Kingdom. Now, the, uh, uh, the Prime Minister, Dr. Ralph Gonzalez, has consistently opposed the citizenship by investment programs. Gonzalez, uh, he argues that the citizenship by investment programs represent unsustainable economic strategies. Uh, in July 2023 interview, he suggested that uh, those who uh, based their economic strategy on the citizenship and investment programs were now facing the consequences of that decision. Well, not really, because uh, the ones that were, were willing to, you know, move their uh, donation option minimum limit up to at least $200,000, uh, you know, they had to comply with that or they would have problems. But uh, they all complied with that, all the fast track programs in the Caribbean. Uh, Otherwise, they would have lost all their visa-free travel to the Schengen countries. Uh, the Prime Minister's concerns stem partly from the UK's recent decision to revoke visa-free access for Dominica and also uh, Banatu uh, passport holders, essentially due to scrutiny warrants. Now, Gonzalez uh, uh, maintains that such programs lack sustainability and cannot form the basis for economic development or um, uh, budget financing. Well, he's wrong with that because th th these have, uh, the funds have come in from citizenship by investment have really helped these Caribbean countries. Now, Friday uh, counters these arguments by pointing to successful citizenship by investment programs in neighboring countries, noting that St. Kitts and Nevis and Dominica uh, can uh, implement certain policies because their citizenship by investment programs cover the associated costs. Now, recent polling suggests a tight race for the uh, November 2025 election with the uh, ULP holding a slim lead over the NDP, 337 to 30.1%, while Friday enjoys approval ratings nearly on par with uh, Prime Minister Gonzalez. Now, um, I, I think you, what you're gonna have to look at here is if you're looking for a passport, as I mentioned before, you want to get a passport that does not tax worldwide income if you live there, it allows visa-free travel, okay? And you want to get one that, that speaks, that the language there is uh, uh, the language you speak, whether it's, you know, English, if you're bilingual, you want to go outside of the English-speaking countries, that's up to you. You know, if you can speak Spanish, another good one is uh, uh, El Salvador or uh, Guatemala. You know, these are two real good countries if you can speak Spanish. Uh, but to make it simple, if you can't speak languages other than English, uh, you need to stick with those, uh, that video I just did, uh, the last video I did, stick with countries that don't require a language test and uh, their primary language is English speaking. It's that simple. If you want to know more on this, folks, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com and just ask for some help. And uh, uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right here on your right on your screen. You'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And again, uh, uh, you know, we'd like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, put it below, and I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.